Hey everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to easily create this flame effect using Niagara Fluids in Unreal Engine 5. This effect is fully dynamic and can be attached to any skeleton and animation, perfect for characters, creatures or magical VFX setups. Let's dive in. Let's start by enabling the Niagara Fluids plugin. Go to Edit, Plugins, and search for Niagara Fluids. Tick the box to enable the plugin and restart the engine. Let's add the third person template to get the default Unreal skeleton. In the Content Browser, click the plus icon, go to Add Feature or Content Pack, select third person, and click Add to Project. Also, Make sure show developer content is enabled so we can access the Niagara templates. Now let's create a new folder and name it VFX. Right click inside it and choose Niagara system. In the left tab, go to Niagara Fluids, 3D Gas, and select the Grid 3D Gas Simple Particle Source template. Click Create, and name it NS Flame Tutorial, then double-click to open it. Here is our system, it's made of two parts, the particle system and the fluid attributes. The fluid simulates based on the particles. For now, let's disable the fluid part so we can focus on adjusting the source particle system. Under properties, untake local space, determinism and interpolate spawning, then set calculate bounds mode to programmable. We don't need particles to spawn from sphere, we want them to spawn from our skeleton. So disable the shape location module and add the skeletal mesh location module instead. Now let's set both preview mesh and the default mesh to the Unreal mannequin. And let's set the mesh sampling type to surface triangles. If you get the CPU access error, double click on the skeletal mesh to open it, search for CPU in the asset details and enable allow CPU access. Go back to the system and click fix now to resolve the error. Now let's adjust the add velocity module and set the velocity direction from x to minus y. Now disable the particle emitter and focus on the fluid emitter. First, adjust the pivot point to ensure our skeletal mesh fits inside the fluid's bounds. Then, adjust the world size parameter. Next, set the density buoyancy to 0.5 and the temperature buoyancy to zero. Next, let's add some wind to our fluid simulation. Take the calculate wind box, set its direction to follow minus y and set the magnitude to 100. Then, let's set the density scale to 10 and the temperature scale to 20.
Let's increase the dissipation rate for both density and temperature. Set them to 3 for a quicker fade out of the flame effect. There's one thing we forgot, let's go back to the particle emitter in the skeletal mesh location module, set the source mode to attach parent, so the particles emit from the skeletal mesh the Niagara system is attached to. Let's compile, save and head back to our level, drag the skeletal mesh into the scene, then add our Niagara system. In the world outliner, drag the particle system onto the skeletal mesh to attach it. From the socket or bone list, select none. Set the rotation and location to zero and there it is, our character is on fire. You can now assign any animation and the flame effect will follow it perfectly. We can also add the Niagara system directly to the third person blueprint. Open the blueprint, go to components, click add and choose Niagara particle system. Assign our system, untick trail bounds and set the location rotation to zeros. Don't forget to attach the Niagara system to the mesh, go back to the level, hit play and there it is. You can also customize the fluid colors. Go back to the Niagara system in the fluid emitter, set render temperature to curve instead of black body, then adjust the color curve to get the look you want. And that's it. You've now got a fully functional animation driven flame effect using Niagara fluids in Unreal Engine 5. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more Unreal content and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.